I didn't grab your sugar free Red Bull. For some reason, whenever I smoke weed, I wanna I wanna cut my fucking hair. I have been to Montreal. Well, we'll get you a desk when we make money. Yeah, when we're millionaires. Yeah. Welcome back to We Should Jam Sometime, episode 75. Um, we don't have much of a plan tonight, but we do <laughs> We do have a new camera. Yeah. Um, for some reason, it's just really holding on to the dream. Um, what you're going to notice, though, is it cannot record for over like 30 minutes. So we're going to cut back to the old shitty camera <laughs> every now and then. Um, today we just have it in a regular spot. We're going to try to do fun things with it because yeah. we recognize that the quality is worse and we're trying to make <laughs> the quality better. <laughs> yeah. So that's the deal with that. We so like, when it goes to shittier view, we know. We should like put on like a ceiling fan at some point. Just have it orbit yeah, the room. Yeah. We'll just have it. Yeah. We'll put it on like, uh, um, those vacuums that fucking move around. Yeah, on a Roomba. Yeah, or like a Lazy Susan or something. Yeah, Just fucking... <laughs> dude. Did you know that they had Roomba like lawnmowers? What? You never really? seen these? What does it bounce oh. off of? They'll just go into the dude, street. I'm wondering if they Maybe program it. I've only ever seen them twice. Yeah. And it, I have a video on my phone somewhere. Maybe I will. I, I just said I don't have a video to show. If I can find the video, it's right fucking here. Um, <laughs> It's weird looking, man, because it's just a fucking thing on the grass, and then it just—I think maybe you program it to like the edges yeah, of your lawn. Yeah. What? Yeah. What size your lawn is? And then, uh, and then it just does its thing. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, man. it's weird. Dude, fucking Roombas are crazy. Yeah, man. That's uh, yeah, and the 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 grass cutting ones are kind of weird. I was spraying a lawn one day, and they had one, and then I went. And it was just, it, it's weird too. Cause like the grass was cut and it just kept <laughs> trying to trim. Oh my God. And I, I like go to the back and I'm like, Hey, like I'm here to spray your, your lawn. Like I need that thing off. And she's like, oh, okay. And she goes and gets the husband. And then the husband comes out and he's like, are you afraid of this thing? And I was like, no, I just need it off the lawn. Like what? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like, I'm not a, it's a fucking machine. He like wanted you to spray yeah. it. <laughs> I was, yeah. I was like, yeah, do you want me to kill this thing? I don't know, man. <laughs> I wonder if it'd be it, like I guess it would be like water resistant probably. I would imagine. You yeah. just like toss it out there and it starts raining. It's like, well, it's fucked now. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a terrible <laughs> design flaw. It's just like nicks a sprinkler head. <laughs> it's fucking over, dude. It goes through like the design stage. It gets shipped out, sells millions of units, and then like they're they're just chilling in the office. Like, well, we made two billion dollars. Yeah. Like. Hey, what if it rains? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, oh <laughs> sell your stock. Sell your yeah, stock. Sell it. Sell, <laughs> sell. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. That would be wild. <laughs> dude, speaking of wild, we just finished season six of Sons of Anarchy. Dude. Have you got there? I finished the show. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. You and Josh got ahead of me. We oh, really, really slacked through season six. And then Josh texted me the other day. He's like, dude, season six is fuck. Like, I just finished it. And I was like, whoa, hold your horses. I'm not there <laughs> Don't yet. Don't tell me yet. I'm not there yet. Dude, season six is crazy. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I see, like, the I'm... ending of it. I yeah, knew fair. that, uh, spoiler, I knew that Tara died, but I just... Uh, <laughs> we spoiled the well, whole well, so... Uh, I mean, I feel the show's fucking hella old. It's like so. six years old. <laughs> yeah. so. So, um, uh, but yeah, but I couldn't, I didn't know how. Actually, I, I had seen that death scene before, but in my head, I thought that it was Wendy. So, oh. like, I wasn't actually prepared that that's how Tara died. Yeah. But people in my family kept, like, spoiling that Tara died. Oh, and really? And I was like, but I kind of assumed, like, I, I yeah. was prepared for her to die All anyway. good people die in this show. Yeah. So then I, uh, but it was funny. So when it happened, I was just like, I was kind of just like numb to it. I was like, yeah, like I expected Tara to die. And then uh, when like the sheriff gets killed, I was like, oh, I didn't know that was coming. Yeah. <laughs> and then at the end, when Jax like walks in on it, then I was like, oh, fuck. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Like, just got like, it. I was kind of like the whole like last like 10 minutes, Julie was like, what the fuck? This is fucked. And I was like, yeah, like, I don't know. I kind of expected her to die. Like, I'm not that torn up about it. And then, uh, and then when Jax walked in, I was like, oh, fuck, oh, dude. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, oh my heart no. fucking hurts, man. So. Yeah, dude. I was watching that with my roommate and like fucking yelling. So I was like, no, no, <laughs> dude. This, no, that's so like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, yeah, it's a fucked up way to die. Dude, it's so brutal. Like, yeah, it was very brutal. Oh and my um, God. it's like I kind of wanted her to die like earlier when she wanted to take the kids away, but then I'm like, she can't die. Yeah. That's how the show gets you. Is like right at the end. Yeah. They're, you're like, oh. okay, it actually worked out. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And then Gemma doesn't have all the details. Yeah. 
Well, the fucking, there's that bit where she's like, uh, they're going on the road trip or whatever. And it's like, they're literally singing like fucking campfire songs yeah. in the car. And I'm like, who's dying? Yeah. Like some, <laughs> some fuck has to yeah, happen. I was expecting like a car accident or something. Yeah, I was just oh, like, well, fuck dude. Yeah. Or like a drive by. Yeah. What did me when Galen gets murdered? I was like, yeah. oh, yeah. fuck. I was like, I yeah. wasn't ready for that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, holy shit. All right. <laughs> I was also kind of pissed because like, I was like, man, I hope this guy has like such a brutal fucking death. And it's just out of the blue. Yeah. <laughs> he just gets shot in the yeah, face. Yeah, out of nowhere. And I was like, oh, okay. That's like fucking Hank from Breaking Bad. Break, that's a fifth the Breaking Bad. <laughs> Spoiler on that one, too. But yeah, Hank fucking died. It's like fucking, he's like mid-sentence. is just gone. Yeah. Like, Oh my fucking god! Okay, that's happened now. The lead up to that, when I watched it with Julia, this was the second time through for me. I was just like the whole series. She's like, "Fucking, I hate Hank. Hank yeah, sucks." Oh yeah, everyone and then, does. And then, but like within a couple episodes of that happening, it starts to like turn around, and you're like, "All right, like the yeah. I'm starting to feel for this guy." And for then sure. he gets murdered because that's the whole point. You want yeah. to like feel it when he gets. It. So I just remember like I'm nowhere like one or two episodes away from it happening, and I'm like. I'm like, you still hate Hank? And she's like, yeah, fuck that guy. And I was like, are you sure? And she's like, yeah. And I was just like, no, you're not. It's, it's not, not going to happen yeah. for you. Yeah. 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 It's like, this is, you're going to enjoy that scene too much. It's super sad. Yeah, that we. I couldn't imagine showing that show to someone and see like Hank getting capped and them going like, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, can you fucking imagine? <laughs> Holy oh fuck. God. Yeah. Um. Anyway, oh, I had like a crazy story before we get into our jams that I was going to just tell you before, but I thought I'll share it on the podcast. Mm-hmm. So a couple of weeks ago I was on, I got, I was in my junk mail, my email and I got a, like a, Hey, somebody like logged into your Facebook and it was like from like a Samsung phone or whatever. Oh. And I was like, Oh, that's weird. And it was in my junk mail. So I was like, is that real? So I went into my privacy settings and then it shows you like where you're logged in. And I was like, yeah, what the fuck? I was logged into a Samsung. Like that's fucking weird at the end of September. And then, so I like went in to change my shit and there were, and Facebook goes like, Hey, like here's all your recent activity. Is any of that weird? And I was like, Nope, like that's all me. That's all normal. Like, all right. And so I changed my password, logs me out of everything. And then I was home this past weekend for Thanksgiving and my dad goes, Oh, Hey Kel, I forgot to tell you. I just want to let you know. He's like, I, uh, opened my phone one day and I was just like logged into your Facebook. And like, my dad doesn't have Facebook. Like he doesn't even oh. have an account. And I was like, what? And he goes, yeah, he goes, I honestly don't know what happened. And I was like, I believe you. <laughs> it's like, that's weird. He was like, yeah, like I didn't even know I had the app. And then I like, I see him on Facebook. I think I'm on your mom. So I like, go, I'm like, Hey Kim, like what's up with this? And then my mom was like, this is Caleb's Facebook. And he's like, how did I get logged into Caleb's Facebook? That's crazy. And I'm like, yeah, what the fuck? Cause like, it's not even like an Apple to Apple thing. Cause my parents have like all Android shit. Yeah. And so I still don't know. That's wild. how my dad. Well, actually, what we think it might have been is my mom said on her like t- Samsung tablet, if she goes on her Facebook, mm-hmm. like my profiles there. So I probably logged in. So maybe like somehow, yeah, there was like chatter. But I'm like, that's fucking weird. That man. is weird. I uh, I had that because I when I just got my iMac, like I hadn't logged into anything yet, and I went to like just click on the username bar on Facebook, and it was like here's my email address and then like autofill the password and i was like how yeah. what dude yeah. and it worked and i was yeah. like dude apple's fucked yeah. like, how do you know it's so like if somebody texts you with a, like if you got an iphone and then mm. like texted me and i like didn't have your contact it would show up like maybe craig like yeah it does that shit what the yeah fu- maybe me <laughs> yeah and it's always right <laughs> and you're just like okay man holy shit <laughs> it knows who you are that's fucked yeah. is it like pinging locations and I shit i have no idea well probably it just comes oh up maybe God. craig and then hyphen and then your social insurance number after <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. my credit card <laughs> c- 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 cbs yeah. fucking code yeah you're like okay cool right on God must damn. be craig also, for some reason, Sons of Anarchy makes me want to buy a burner phone. I have nothing incriminating that I need to do. I just want to have one. Dude, I'm pretty sure Sons of Anarchy is like partially responsible for me being like jumpy as of late. As you of think like the so? last month. I think so. Probably. I don't think like actively, like I don't think I'm act I just think like subconsciously. Gen- yeah, generally. Yeah, I would have been so invested in the show that it's just like I'm like Who's watching me? I think it's why I'm so angry. <laughs> and it's like nobody, dude. You're nobody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody's watching you. Yeah. It makes it makes me full of rage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're angry 100 percent of the time. Yeah. Everybody fucking 
gets murdered. It's brutal. Yeah. You know what I also realized in that show? If they're showing you one of the gun handoffs, it means that like a whole crew of people is about to get murdered. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, for sure. If you if you see the gun deal go down, you're like, oh, a bunch of people are going to senselessly die right now. Yeah. All right. For sure. Cool. Yeah. Also, if anyone uh, does anything good, any good deeds, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. wholesome activity, yeah. probably going to die. It's over. There's no wholesome activity. No. Now this... Now this is my jam. All right, what's your jam? My jam? Uh, I gotta think. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I have one. Okay. What was your jam? I don't know if I should even show this, but it's. I already, actually I already showed showed it to you, but okay. I gotta share it with the people. Okay. So <laughs> it was it was Thanksgiving this past weekend, and uh, on the Saturday I went Saturday night I went to one of my buddies' place, and uh, they were like drinking all day. And uh, so we're like hanging out and then we're like, let's go play. We'll go play cards over there. And this dude's like parents are fucking like hella rich. Their basement's huge. So we go to the other side of the basement Mm -hmm. where his younger brother is like his space. And like his his younger brother is like out of high school or whatever. So everybody's going over there. And then I walk over there. And as I'm getting over there, all of them are like, Jesus fucking Christ. What the hell, man? And I, I see like three packs of like Belmonts on the table and I go, what's going on? And they're like, loves open the drawer to this fucking table. Oh my God. <laughs> and I go, I go, what, what's up? And they're like, just open the drawer. Woo, woo, whoopsie. Like, hammered and high. Just like, dude, guys, shut the fuck up. Oh, <laughs> and, no. and I'm going to post the photo, but I already showed it to you. I'm going to show you again. <laughs> and it's just this oh, drawer. Oh my God. It's just these smoking poppers. And it's just the, I'm actually going to, I got to believe his name. Cause I'm not trying to get anybody in trouble, but, um, it's just a drawer of just torn apart cigarettes. That's so It's got to be like, this has got to be like three, four packs of darts just in this. <sighs> just torn apart. <laughs> and, and, and that's where we go. Like, what the fuck, man? And again, dude, like, his parents have done well. This is a beautiful home. <laughs> and oh, it's my just, God. The drawer to this table is just filled with tobacco. And he's like... He's like, it's just easier. And we're like, easier than what? And he goes, I'm just sitting here playing video games, pack a bowl. You can just throw it in the fucking, in the drawer. Oh, and we go, how are you going to clean this up? And he goes, it's easy. I'm going to vacuum it. <laughs> oh, my God. We're like, dude, the central vac system is just going to be filled with filters. It's not even going to be funny. Jesus and I was just like, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. And then we just roasted him the rest of the night. I don't miss being 17 and watching people just roast bowls of tobacco. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so, so fun. It's so weird. You ever know a guy that like <clears throat> just smoked tobacco out of a bong? Yeah, not like I don't think any of my friends really ever like did that. There was a few like party tricks of like, yo, pull this dart through the bong where people <laughs> <laughs> you just you stick the dart in the bowl pieces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those are I would be lying if I said I haven't done that yeah, before. I've never done it, but I've seen a few guys it's really do gross. it. Yeah, it's really gross. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm surprised your lungs don't just explode oh, out of your chest. I know so many people that. that like would like there was one dude I knew that would go to school, bring a bong so he could smoke tobacco out of it <laughs> like all day. And then there's another guy that you know also okay. that like fucking he'd be like, Oh, I'm out of weed and he would just like smoke darts through his bong basically. Oh, that's just like so brim weird. the bowl of tobacco and just <sighs> Like roast it, <laughs> like the amount of water that would flow out of this guy's face after that would happen, like from all orifices, yeah. <laughs> it's just dude. horrendous. Oh, dude, I couldn't imagine just like the fucking like the head, heat the heat, alone. yeah, like, the it's heat, so hot. and then the fucking spins you'd be getting after oh that. Oh my god, it's just so gross. <laughs> it, the worst part, like even just like tobacco bowls are crazy but like pop while watching people smoke poppers the sound that it makes yeah. is so fucking awful yeah. it's like it's like the 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 anti version of crunchy leaves <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. is yeah <laughs> It's just it, that's just your lungs being like, hey man, what the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> why? Why? Why are you doing that? When they exhale and they go like, Ooh. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's too real. <laughs> That's gross. It's so real, though. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> oh my god dude that took me back to like 2015 <laughs> Just, oh just a basement full of bad decisions. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, dude! <laughs> oh, dude, dads, hug your daughters. <laughs> dude, it was way more ladies r- ripping the poppers. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, like, yeah. It's so fucked. It's like weirdly like way more like a chick thing. Yeah, I don't get it don't at all. I don't know why it's like that. I don't know, ladies. Let us know if you smoke poppers and you're a female. Uh, please Dude, if, if you smoke poppers in 2020, <laughs> fucking don't message us. Message like AA or yeah, something. Call a doctor. Oh my god, call the morgue. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna die, yeah, bro. You're gonna, you're gonna die. Oh my god. Well, what wasn't your jam? Because <laughs> fucking, oh my god. Dude, I don't want to bring the cool, party I down. Cool down now. I don't want to bring one. the party down. Ugh. This was not my jam. Um, yeah, I was actually, this was just a write-in before we started. Um, but I've just been, this has been a weird week, uh, just cause it was like a shorter week and everything, mm. but I'm just, I've been very torn between what I'm doing with my life. Cause I'm torn between the whole, like everything. I think if my 16 year old self was here right now, he would be very angry with me. You think so? Well, yeah. I think with what, which also that guy didn't know a goddamn thing, but yeah, fair. <laughs> but, but just like, um, Cause when I was 16, the whole thing was like, I've got to do music and that's what it's got to be. Mm. And like, even then, like, I didn't know what that meant. Like I grew up in a yeah. small town where that wasn't ever a reality for right. me. So now where the last like four years, it's actually been a bit of a reality and I know what that looks like. Mm. I don't want to walk away from it, but I'm just in this other place of like, I need to keep it moving. And like with a fucking pandemic and who knows, I need to find like a job yeah, that, like, and get a skill that I can like make money. And like I said last week, like I, I want a, I want a house. I want a place that is my own. That's not For a sure. fucking apartment building. And uh, that's, I think, the part where like, um, so I, like what I'm, what I'm torn between to get to the point, I guess, is like, I feel like very split in two of like, I need to do this thing to like, I think be happy and like continue, keep it moving forward. And yeah. Uh, cause I, my, my biggest fear is like being like in my thirties and be, and still like spraying lawns and shit. Like, yeah. That freaks me out. Um, unless like the band was going really well, but like at this point we're in a weird situation where yeah, it's like, there's is, not right? a lot. Yeah. That's what I mean. It's not just us. It's, yeah. it's the world, but then also to be in like a band where it's like, we weren't like popping off before. And then, so it's a weird situation of being of like, we're not really in high demand right yeah. now to be doing shit. Um, and then, and then also though, like I don't ever, I don't want to give up on that or anything or even like doing this stuff. And, like I've been trying to make my uh, editing skills better and shit, and I love doing that. But it's just <laughs> trying to find the money in it is tough. Yeah, for and sure. banking on that stuff. Like I was, I was saying, uh, I was like, it's so fucked up because I was like, all of my like interests and the shit that I like love are just like trying to find like financial freedom in those things are <laughs> like either like either you do and it's great mm-hmm. or you you try forever and it doesn't work out yeah, and I, totally. was like, I was like that's really i was like that's funny in a fucked up way yeah <laughs> like, for real. Was, that is just tragic yeah it was just like it's really funny in a really fucked up way that like all the things i love are just like tough to make money yeah either know? you make fuck loads of money or none yeah or yeah. you just grind forever yeah and uh and it's probably too early to say that like i'm not even saying that i've done the grind long enough but it's just like Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm not much of a risk taker either. So it's like, and yeah. also I think like the, my alternative right now is like, I should just, I'm going to go like learn a trade and then I don't need to give up on this other shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's totally. not like, cause my other thing I was like, there was other options I was considering going back to school for, but it's the same shit of like, fuck, do I go back to school over two years and then I'm fucking broke again. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then, and it's also like the stuff I was considering going back to school for was like, not going to put me much better. Like I was considering like radio broadcasting and stuff like not yeah. too much different to what I'm skilled to do anyway with what I just yeah. did in MIA. So it's like, I don't know. What do you do? Yeah. It's hard to like, you kind of have to avoid getting comfortable, you know, when yeah. you're working and yeah. being a musician, it's, yeah. it's tricky. You don't want to get lost in like the fucking, uh, stable income sauce. <laughs> and that was the thing I think pre pandemic, I was like, like a year ago, 
I was like, this is fucking great. Like, I don't love my job, but I make enough money. I'm like, I'm able to save a little bit. And like, this is totally man. Like my lifestyle is totally manageable. And I get to do the music thing. Like, this is okay right now. Yeah. And then the fucking pandemic hit. And it's like, oh, this is weird now. Cause I can't really, now I hate my job and I can't fully do the thing that I want to do. Yeah. And it's like, what's up? And then like, after like the whole, like truck got stolen and everything, like I try to, you seem to have like a month of bad luck every like so often every like six six months or so and then and this time i was like all right like what am i gonna fucking take away from this and i was like i think i'm just i got too comfortable and i need to keep it moving forward yeah totally. and i think that that's easy i think no matter what you do i think that's easy if you're not keeping it moving no matter what it is you choose to do in your life yeah i think that that's uh that can be dangerous yeah you gotta be you gotta be willing to change it up that's where the risk taking comes into play, right? Yeah, and it's like, yeah, it's just I don't know. I know, and it's funny because then you'll talk to other other guys and be like, "Well, then fucking, you just don't want it enough. Then you like, grind it out for fucking fifteen years, and you're like, okay." But again, like I also have a legitimate fear of like I don't want to be fucking, you know, even let's say ten years from now, I don't want to be thirty four and then be like, "Fuck, dude." <laughs> like, yeah. I'm still, well, I'm I didn't not, make it. I'm yeah. still working at McDonald's, and, then, and it's like, yeah, I didn't make it. And I have this shitty job and now I'm in my, th- at least at like a 24 year, like it, it, I do feel like, Oh fuck, I'm 24. Like yeah, it's over. And it's yeah. like, I remember my, my mom called me the other day and uh, cause I was kind of like having a breakdown over text to my dad and my mom called me and she was like, she's like, you're 24. She's like, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're fine. Like, yeah. And then my yeah. dad was like, I didn't start my apprenticeship until I was 26. I had a mortgage and a two year old, like it's going to be fine. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, Oh, okay. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but also, like, the lesson in that, too, is, like, it's good to be thinking about that shit. Yeah, it, there's, like, there's healthy ways of doing it, and then there's unhealthy ways. Like, I definitely do it in a shitty way where I'm like, what was John Lennon doing at 24? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God! <laughs> you know? It's like, but then also, you know, it's like, fucking, dude, Samuel Jackson didn't do a movie until he was 40. Yeah, it's you like, know? yeah, weird shit like that. And you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a weird person. And, and that's weird, too, because you're like, don't wait till you're 40, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, don't wait. Yeah, he was like, trying the whole time, yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah. that's a th- And that's tough, too, because you, if you listen to people that are successful, even if they were successful later in life, like, you still, you're still still living now. Yeah. And it's hard to be, like, to kind of get through that. Of like, oh, well, fucking this guy, you know, grinded it out for 20 years. And it's like, yeah, he made it, but fucking... There's yeah. thousands of other people that did not. Yeah. And not to say that you can't be the one that, that does, but you have to make that so you're happy. Yeah. I also don't want to be like depressed for the next fucking 10 years and then it, none of it was even worth yeah. it, you know? Well, and all those people when they like made it, like a lot of them didn't even know they they had currently just made it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a lot of times, like people might be grinding for like fucking 20 years and they're just like, oh damn, I actually did it like five <laughs> years ago. Of, yeah. Of sick. <laughs> yeah. You know, because it's it's still working the whole fucking time. Yeah. Everyone that's made it is still currently busting their asses. Yeah. So. And, um, and that's the thing too. Like I was, uh, cause my thing was always like, I just gotta, uh, I was like, the band's gotta fucking burn to the ground or fucking take off before I can like, let it go. Like it's gotta Mm. die before I can. And I still feel that way. Yeah. But I'm just also trying to set myself up for the future. Yeah. Cause I think everybody feels that everybody's kind of doing, I know Nick was telling me he's got other plans, right. For the next like couple of years. Mm. Uh, and that's all fucking cool. So I don't know. We'll do our thing for now. And who knows what happens? Yeah. Dude, who knows? We're going to the studio in two days. Maybe one of those songs pops off. I don't fucking maybe. know. Maybe I doubt it, but maybe <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> I think they, I think they rip, but you never know. It's in the realm of possibility. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be weird. You know, maybe I win the lottery tonight. None of this matters. Yeah, so for real. We We're going to buy back. fucking Powerball tickets. Yeah. <laughs> we come on next week. Fucking. I don't Rolexes. know. Everybody gets some, yeah Rolexes. <laughs> if we have brand new microphones, you know why? Yeah, we won we'll the water. Yeah, yeah. Like they'll just studio. be exotic animals in here. <laughs> a plethora of them. Yeah, <laughs> a plethora of exotic animals. Um, but yeah, I guess I don't know. I don't even know if I should say that's not my jam. It's just but where my headspace has been a little bit. Mm. So I've been like relatively stressed. Yeah, I keep going through like. Oh, dude, this is fucking. I don't want to do this. <laughs> and then, like, no, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> like, you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna I know. Make it it's, yeah, you get spurts of it. Yeah. Like, honestly, I would say that's like not my jam too. Yeah. <clears throat> Where like, because I've been working just like sixty-hour weeks, you know, and like you get like 
a whole week goes by and you're like, damn, I like literally didn't play an instrument yeah. like for three days yeah. or something. It's like, damn, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah. Like, wasn't I doing this so I could fucking support the music yeah. the whole time? Yeah. And then you're like, I haven't thought about something that wasn't work for three fucking days yeah. or four days. It's yeah. Like, this is crazy. Yeah. It's, uh, it's something that you're like, I just don't want to get trapped. Yeah. But I'd also rather get trapped in like a... A well-paying job. <laughs> yeah, I would like to you know? have stability. <laughs> yeah, I have yeah. money in my bank account for the first time yeah. in like fucking six years right yeah. now. I know you and I have talked in the past about like uh, like friends we have or whatever that like don't necessarily feel that way, and mm -hmm. they're just like you know they have like no money, and then they hate anybody with money. Yeah, and I'm just like. Yeah, like I don't totally disagree, but like, have you had money? Because yeah, like, it's like, having, have you like ever having just like a little bit of a savings is like fucking sick. Yeah, <laughs> you'll have way less stress. <laughs> yeah, honestly. you have way less stress. If you're like, no, if you're like, if you can even get yourself, like, the, I guess the general rule is like six months, right? But if you can even get yourself to like a two or three month, like, oh, cool. If I just like stopped working, I would have a couple I'll be months fine. for yeah. like, that is a wonderful feeling. Yeah. It's a wonderful feeling. For sure. And then, cause then when shit happens, like your fucking car breaks down and it's an $1,100 fix, that sucks. But at least I have the money yeah. that I can do it. And then I'm not like fucked for the next two months. Yeah. That feels nice. Mm -hmm. You know? So it's one of those things where it's like, it's kind of like a sellout thing to be like, I play in a band, but I also want stability. Yeah. <laughs> and it's for like, sure. you fucking loser. Everyone's That's got side hustles, baby. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, no man, like you, you know, you should want that shit and whatever level, it is that you you know yeah you could be happy with keeping it at six months forever if that's what you if that's what you're happy with then that's fucking cool like For whatever sure. but it's also not cool to have like four hundred dollars and then just yeah. be like people with money are lame yeah and you're, <laughs> and you're like put it add a couple more zeros to your bank account bud and then see how you feel like, uh, hey your mr noodles are getting cold <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah it's like <laughs> get some chicken breasts in your diet dude. yeah for real <laughs> it's the last time you ate red meat yeah. dude <laughs> yeah, yeah dude Man, I just I can't wait to be at steak level where you just have a steak every now and then. Can't I wait. actually st I currently do. Dude, fuck, all right. Well, you're doing better than me. Every now and then. I also don't have a barbecue. I'm not going to buy a steak and do it on I the I pan fry. Oh, do you pan fry? Mm, Dude, I pan sure. I'll pan fry burgers, but like I don't think I could pan fry a steak. Pan frying burgers sounds weirder to me than pan frying a steak. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I agree. I've heard of people baking burgers. Hmm. Weird. Maybe Julia doesn't seem down. No, I I actually bake my bacon. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I don't, <laughs> but I'm okay with that. I when I worked in the mess hall, that's how they do it. Yeah, it's just it's faster. Va it's faster, yeah. Especially in a mess hall, you faster, fucking throw in like eight sheets of bacon. You don't have to fucking clean your frying pan. You just put parchment paper down. And yeah, fucking throw it out. That's so, true. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> so, it's like I drain a little bit. I mean, whatever. You see, the, uh, there's a meme last week going around where it's like, my cousin just moved into his own apartment and then he gets a text. He's like, hey, I don't want to text this to my mom. Uh, how often do you have to clean the inside of your oven? And he's like, <laughs> yeah. he's like, what are you talking about? And he goes, well, like it, the grill gets dirty or whatever. And he's like, well, yeah, but like you're putting it on a pan. Like you just have to clean the pan. And he goes, pan, my oven has the grills. <laughs> and he's like, wait, wait, you're just putting the meat directly on the grill in the oven? Like, well, yeah. <laughs> and then he's like, one second, I got to tweet this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that. He's at like a fucking barbecue. He's like, like fucking burger juice going into his oven all the time. I love when you find out people do dumb shit like that. And you're like. That's some dumb shit, but also, like, I totally see why you think that's how you would do yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, oh, my fucking There was God. one time we caught Nick putting a plate in a toaster oven, and we were like, hey, bud, what, what, are, you, what? what are you doing? And he goes, what? And we go, what are you putting the plate in there for? And he's like, I'm making my pizza pocket. We're like, yeah, you can just put it in there. You don't have to fucking, you don't put, put the plate, plate in. in that's in crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, it's more an oven than a microwave, you psycho. Yeah. It's not <laughs> Dude, fucking my roommate had like this this orange bowl and like I don't think it was quite glass, but it wasn't plastic. Like I don't know what this thing was. And he kept like baking with it. And I was like, What are you like, what is this thing? And he was like, I don't I don't know. I've baked it like a million times. <laughs> and I forget I was gonna use it for something and I was like is this microwave? Uh, yeah, I was going to use it in the microwave because yeah. the whole time I was like, I don't think that should go in the oven. And I, he was, I was like, is this microwave safe? He goes, I put it in the oven, so it's probably fine. And I was like, I'm going to see if there's something written on this. And it's like the tiniest font ever, but it's this little circle and it just says, not for oven or microwave <laughs> use. And I was like, you probably have like lead poisoning yeah, or some shit. Yeah. Like you've been baking with this for how long? He's like, like three years. <laughs> like, oh yeah, damn. dude. You're going to die, dude. You're going to die early. 
Also, so we could cut this out if I've said this already, but my that same roommate was also French pressing instant coffee for two oh, years. Never. Oh, never. <laughs> mm, yep. Yeah. Dude, that's like the fucking, that's the most classy white trash Dude, thing I've ever heard so in my life. it was so funny. So fucking, I bought instant coffee, right? I didn't give a fuck. I was like, I'm getting it because I don't care. Yeah. And fucking my roommate finds it in the cupboard and goes, oh my God, whose fucking instant coffee is this? And I was like, it's mine, dude. Fuck yeah, it. Yeah. Like, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> you think I care about good coffee? I go to Tim Hortons every day, <laughs> yeah. you know? And he was just like, dude, that's fucking gross. And I, I was like, what do you use? And he was like, I use this shit. And I like grab it. And I'm like, this is instant coffee. <laughs> and he goes, no, it's not. I'm like, it says instant right there. And he goes, I've been putting this in my French press for two <laughs> years. <laughs> Yeah, bro. That's amazing. Yeah, French pressing instant coffee. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> French. Pr- I'm trying to think of like what an equivalent to that is. That's so fucking funny. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> Especially to think that like he's, he's been buying the same coffee for two years, thinking it's real coffee. It's real coffee, <laughs> yeah. and he was roasting me for for buying this shit too. I was like, I'm pretty sure it's the same coffee you have, <laughs> dude. There's no way that tastes good. I'm so interested to French press some <laughs> instant coffee. He, you know what the best part was? Like he bought the French press. Like, cause he was using a regular coffee maker before. I'm pretty sure he bought the French press. He went, dude, it's so much better. <laughs> Like, dude, nothing changed. Also, like, isn't there supposed to be grinds in your French press when you're done or some shit? Like, doesn't it, like, separate all the shit or something like that? Yeah, so you, like, you put the grinds in, and then you put the water in, and then you put... You're supposed to, like, let it steep... Right. And then you just like slowly press down to so the bottom. So all the grinds are at the bottom. Yeah, it's like a filter. Yes. Yeah, so there would be no the grinds ever. Yeah, true, because it dissolves. Yeah, it's instant coffee. So. <laughs> oh my God. That's I didn't the even, worst part. I it's didn't like, even think about you that. You don't have grinds for two years, and you're like, this is a great French press. <laughs> like, oh my there's God. no grinds after. Dude, there's people like that out in the world. I live with one. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> It's crazy. That reminds me. That's like a story where like you're taking driver's ed, and then they'll they'll tell you something like that, and they're like, "These are the people on the road with you." <laughs> they, like you, that's why you have to be aware. Yeah, it's these people that are on the road. That's crazy, man. To just be that oblivious. Oh, fuck. That's sorry, so bud. Have I met? Have I, have I met this guy? Yeah. Okay, cool. I need a name after this. That's awesome. So brutal. <laughs> so that is brutal. that's up there with one of the greatest. That might be my new jam. Yeah. That's funny, man. I'm gonna somehow work French pressing instant coffee into the title of this. That is so funny. He's gonna be so mad. <laughs> Whatever. Hey man, if you're gonna do something dumb like that. Yeah. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, yeah. yo. Yeah. All right, I don't have a topic, so I mean, if you have a topic. Um, well, my jam. <laughs> now this, now this is my jam. Yeah, I guess I could say what my jam was. So fucking we, uh, I played another gig. Mm. So fucking. With Serena and the ladies. <laughs> Toronto and Montreal are both rolling back into like phase two and shit. Yeah. And I'm playing gigs. Yeah. <laughs> so like London's yeah. like okay right now. And like, especially where we, we've been playing, like we've played Palisade. I think two times now. Yeah. Um, and it's a massive building, right? You can only have 50 people in there. Yeah. So like, it, like you are not coming into contact with anyone if you yeah. don't want to. Yeah. So it's, it's very safe. But, uh, so we were playing the gig and, uh, but the restrictions are now last calls at 11. So the gig was only from nine until 11. Mm. Um, so we condensed our set list down a whole bunch and, uh, our favorite summer of 69 was on the Ooh. set list. Right. But for some reason, I don't know how we all just knew we were going to do it. Aside from Serena, we did the most fucking cock rock version of Summer of 69 I've ever heard in my life with like dive bombs and shit in it. <laughs> like pretty much dive bombs. It was tight as shit. That's awesome. I actually had fun playing Summer of 69 for the first time. That's awesome. And the three of you just locked in. Yeah, dude. We were just rocking like fucking high kicks and shit. <laughs> like oh, no joke. We rocked Summer of 69. And then Serena came up after and was just like, what the fuck was that? Yeah. <laughs> like Summer of 69. Hey guys, what the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> I straight up said into the microphone, I was like, this is the first time I've ever had fun playing that song. <laughs> Oh, Dude, man. people went off. They loved it. Yeah, that's amazing. I love when you play like a boring song like that and then 
you throw a high kick in and you're like, whoa, dude. People I'm are here. just like, dude, that ripped. I'm here for this. Now. Dude, that kick was so high. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody send this to Brian Adams. <laughs> He's got to rewrite his song. He probably would have thought it was sick. Probably, yeah. He'd probably be like, I fucking hate playing that song. I fucking today. hate that song. Yeah. yeah. I hate that I wrote that song. <laughs> <laughs> totally hate myself for writing that song. You, you should, should jam. jam. Okay, you should jam. So we got, uh, what do we got? We got Mini Mansions versus Billie Eilish. Yeah. I like doing verses. Now. Yeah, they're going to duke it yeah. out. I had this I had this vision today that I was like, oh, I should I should make like a graphic where they're like, the album art's like fighting or something. Yeah, shit. ding, ding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, who goes first? Who wants to go first? Um, You can go first, actually, okay. because you were saying you know this album. Yeah, I know this album. So I, uh, I haven't listened to it in a while, so it was a nice revisit. Um, bring it back up here. But I mean, this is an easy. This is an easy top three, already. Fuck yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, this album rips. It's like, uh, yeah, it's only like a year old, I guess. Because mm. um, this is the weird one where Billie Eilish is a plant and she came out of nowhere. Yes. So whether or not that's true or not, I don't know. But because uh, like I'm not like a huge pop music guy, but like mm. I love when like shit like this. it was the same thing when like Lord hit big. Yeah. First like Royals was everywhere, and I was like, this is bullshit. Yeah, I'm in, you know, I'm, in, knows that. I'm in high school, and I'm fucking like guitar music. And then I listened to the album for some reason, and I was like, this is actually fucking a rip. Yeah, exactly <laughs> that with Billie Eilish for me too. Like I hadn't even heard the song, but it was like everyone's like, yeah, dude, bad guy rips. I was like, it's probably bullshit. Yeah, I think I just like. I think I was in bed one night and it was this thing like Billy Eilish is everywhere and I yeah. was like I'm gonna listen to this but I'm gonna hate it yeah yeah <laughs> and I'm I was gonna listen to it, it and I was like purpose. fuck this is cool man yeah. this is really I, cool I watched the video the same time I heard it for the first time and I was like this chick is a badass yeah. I like this <laughs> yeah yeah and it's just like it's also cool when it's like she's just making music in her bedroom and then it like yeah takes off hard yeah that was also and, like, and like the like, big what? seller yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think of like highlights. I mean, a lot of this shit is good, man. Dude, it's like full of singles. I it's think, crazy. I um, think All the Good Girls Go to Hell is really good. Yeah. And um, and My Strange Addiction are probably my two like. Yeah. My Strange Addiction is the one with all the office. Uh, yeah, all the stuff office in it, Which samples. is funny. But I think like those two are like big stand. Obviously like Bad Guy and Sandy are good too, but like those two are like I think ones that like really stand out to me. Mm-hmm. I like Wish You Were Gay a lot too. It's like a <laughs> Yeah, that it's one's like good an old too. school kind of fucking four chord song. Yeah. Yeah, I think just like the Yeah, like the syncopation of like of My Strange Addiction is really cool. Um whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going on number 3 on this, so it moves Lana Del Rey down. The okay. number four, right? Um, at which means the traveling wheelberries are off of the list. Damn, predictable. That was the though. first, the first one. Yeah, it's predictable. Down. Um, yeah. So like, yeah, shaping up. I got a good top ten right now. MGK on the chopping block, though. Unless I was gonna say, we'll see what I get this week. Maybe there'll be some move arounds, but I'm still feeling pretty confident in what this top ten looks like. So yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, I don't know, Billy. I don't have a lot to say because it's just fucking. It's a ripper. And uh, I'm really gonna be, good. I'm gonna keep listening. It'll probably be top three for a while. Nice. So who knows? Anyway, Fuck yeah. Anyway, um, so you gave me mini mansions. Yeah. What do um, you think about that? I so, listened to this again today because I hadn't listened to it in a long time. Yeah. It just popped up on my Spotify, and I was like, "Oh, I'll give that to Craig." It was funny because I like I remembered the band name very vividly, and I came, I came up with it, and I was like, "There's only like three albums on here." And I list, I figured it was the Great Pretenders yes. anyway, so I listened to that album first, and then I was like. It might be one of the other ones, so I listened to all the albums oh, you? one time each okay. is what I did. I haven't listened to the newest one. Um, I've listened to this like self-titled one before. Yeah, and there's and, some good uh, stuff on there. But yeah, I listened to it. I didn't know that John Theodore also plays drums on this album. On the Great which, Pretenders, yes. Well, there you go. Is, I didn't know that either. That's fucking dope. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought it was great. Um, um, it's uh was it death is a girl was yes that's that's it's like my favorite one. track off of that um but yeah like when it's it was hard not to think about queens knowing that yeah. it was kind of like a queens off she band especially yeah. with john theodore playing drums yeah. um but like i still think it's in the same vein it's still oh, yeah, kind of so? it's still kind of similar it's like yeah. more electronic-y almost yeah. And like the vocal is very different to yeah. what Josh Homme would have been doing. Yeah. But like the whole time I was listening to, it, I was like, Josh Homme could do these songs. Yeah. Maybe. 
I guess that's true. But uh, yeah, I mean, I thought it was in the same vein. It was really fucking good. Yeah, I like the uh, the Alex Turner song's really good too. Mm. Vertigo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's mm-hmm. like their number one streamed. I think so. Probably because that was like right. Yeah, it is. That was also right around like the a.m. times too okay. so it's like when fucking yeah really big yeah everyone's fucking deep sea diving I'm like what else is this guy <laughs> yeah, on big selling point at that time yeah for in, real uh, 2013 um but yeah in relation to my list um basically everything that I've been getting the last like three or four weeks has been going like right in the middle yeah like it's not uh like Fiddler still got the number one <laughs> spot here which is crazy because I like for the long like years I was like fuck Fiddler for no reason like fucking no reason at all yeah um but yeah Mini Manch is taking the hard number five spot okay uh it's topping Kiss just under Arctic Monkeys oh and it is knocking districts off Oof. of the list yeah Oof. which has idols on the chopping block oh no yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. What's funny with Idols is uh, I didn't think anybody listened to them. And then they just put an album out like a month ago. Mm. And then like so many people were like, this new Idols rips. And I'm yeah. like, I didn't know anybody listened to this band. Yeah, that's crazy. But uh, I, I just thought that was funny. I forget I what it was band it is that I mixed them up with. Do you remember? Oh, uh, I don't remember. Because I didn't know the band when you said it. Forgetting. Daughters. Daughters. That's what it was. Yeah, I don't Daughters. know why. I think actually, I think Sad Stab has tattooed both of those bands. Maybe I, I think I could be wrong. I don't know. Maybe not Daughters. Anyway, I don't know. Um, what am I listening to this week? Okay, so I just saw this now. Uh, this is an album I haven't listened to in a while. I do like it, so it's not like a fuck you album. I mm. just don't know if you're gonna like it or not. Okay, uh, it's by a band called Cloud Nothings. Okay. And the album, I'm going to go with the 2012 one, Attack on Memory. Okay. So I listened to this album a lot back in the day. This was when I was actually like also listening to Fiddler in high school. Okay. So you might love this. Okay. Or you might not be that into it. Sweet. I'm actually genuine. Like I'm, I'll be, I won't be surprised either way. <laughs> if okay. you come in next week and you're like, dude, I fucking love this. I'd be like, all right. Sick. <laughs> if you were like, I'm not that into it. I'd be like, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, right. it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it totally makes sense. Um. The album I'm going to give you, uh, I actually finally dove into this artist uh, like this week because it took me forever. And I've like I've watched her in interviews a shitload. And I really like her just as a person. I'd never listened to her music. Oh, no. um, I'm giving you St. Vincent's self-titled. OK. Yeah. OK. Which uh, for some reason I've noticed like a lot of the albums that I've gotten from you have been like 2015 circa. And okay. this is a 2015 album also, so I think it's got some good What's juju. This, uh, which one did I listen to? Which one did I listen to? Where's the self-titled one? It's the white uh, the white background. Oh, this one, 2015? Yeah, it's got some riffs. I'll say that. Oh, yeah, okay. I have listened to this one in the past, but like not a lot. So I think I only know a couple of the songs. Yeah. Yeah, she rips, and like I've seen, I've seen clips of her playing live, and I've seen interviews because I remember she did an interview where she basically said like she attended Berkeley for like fucking like yes. or Juilliard or some shit for like seven years, and yeah. then she was just like, I'm gonna drop out. I just want to be in a band. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> damn, fuck yeah. She was like, I don't need to do this. I just want to be in a band. Yeah, and I was like, that's tight. I don't need to go to school either. Fuck, yeah. fuck school. Yeah. <laughs> I think so Saint was... Vincent's responsible for my lack of education. This is like around the time I think like I think this was the album where she kind of popped off a little bit okay. because I remember. Uh... I remember listening to this a little bit. I don't, mm-hmm. I think I know like probably the first three songs, but like I know birth in reverse for sure. Yeah. And maybe rattlesnake, but now I'm interested to listen to the whole thing. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I'm excited to hear what you have to say. Cause I thought that album fucking ripped. Yeah. It's been a while. It's probably been since 2015 since I've listened to that. So nice. I'll be, uh, I'll good, be interested. Good blast to the past. Nice. We got a fun, we got a fun one. Cara Delevingne. I know. I'm I've, actually, you know what? I was going to send this to you. Um, this woman grew up in Dallas and is Irish, bro. Uh, no <laughs> Saint way. Vincent. Yeah, but she's also gay. Wow. Yeah. Well, so yeah. it's tough. Can't catch a break. Taking the L. I actually didn't know that. I just learned that right she's now. Super Irish. Yeah. She's like completely Irish, but she's like American, right? Yeah. <laughs> she's an American. Yeah. But like, she's Irish, dude. That's so funny. And a lesbian. Fuck. An Irish lesbian. <laughs> way to rub it in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Juan Juliani, closing notes. No. Do you like the hot sauce? 
I don't like hot sauce. She doesn't like hot sauce. It's a problem, dude. It is a problem. She doesn't like heat. Do you like ketchup? Yeah. Saving grace. <laughs> she, she, I don't <laughs> think she's a, she's a dipper, though. She's not a spreader. Yeah. Actually, you want to know what's funny? <laughs> if you were eating like hot dogs or something, you just fucking, you just put a line of condiments on her hot dog. She gets really mad. Like just a straight line. You, you gotta got, swiggle you gotta it. Wave it. Yeah, you got to. She, she goes, she goes oh, you've ruined my hot dog. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. That'd be like like things that are too perfect, like the perfect PBJ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a line <laughs> yeah. across each yeah. one. Yeah, it's, yeah it's like those like. <sighs> You think they're satisfying videos and then they just like cut them all fucked up. You know what I mean? Oh, I hate those. <laughs> what? I hate yeah. that shit. People are just like gliding scissors across paper and then just tearing it yeah, at the yeah. very end. <laughs> That's this podcast. Yeah, um, truly. On that note, Pinky's out.